blank verse for Carl Shapiro. Shapiro was by nature Luddite and iconoclast. Ironic then that he so liked to frame his poetry with lines laid out like rows of bricks, with stanzas of fixed persons, places, things. He played a lot at saying no, but never thunderously. The beats embarrassed him. He rather liked the post-war comforts brought to us by Ike and Coke and IBM. Mischievously conform, that's what he did. A solidarity of one appealed to him, bad bourgeois, white-haired boy, who'd hurt a fly, but little else, and then only with imagery of snot and rage that scanned. He was a little bored by fame, by his own poetry, by life on land-grant campuses, where doe-eyed kids would turn in heartfelt free verse stuff to him. One hopes that Whiston Hugh was waiting when Shapiro entered after life's drugstore, Perhaps the two every so often cruise in a Corvair, smoke cigarettes, quote Yates and Keats, mock Elliot, admit they're glad that lust for bows and bells belongs now to that other life, and prosodize until Nebraska cows come home. Imperial whiz, old Carl J., the blue-eyed brightest beep from Baltimore. Of course, they need not love each other, and they died already, so what's left is love of words and irony satiric tendencies. Oh, and eternity.